<laughs> I'm pretty sure there is just a stream out there that talks about like money. Yeah. I wouldn't be that surprised. Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, my name is Halvard and I'm the Dungeon Master for Waterdeep Dragon Heist. This is session two. Uh, we are one player short, but uh, we uh, are also having a new member for our team. Hi. Uh, we are also waiting for our player to join in. Maybe that's him. So I better make sure that all the audio is coming through my headphones before we start, otherwise that's going to be annoying. Hello. Darling, you have not yet come online on Roll20. So all my players are coming online, um, those of you who don't know me, my name is Harvard or Joanne, I'm from Sweden, 38 years old, almost 39, running my first live D&D session. Uh, I've been DMing a lot before, uh, I've been DMing for the last three years, and I've also been playing D&D as a character in several campaigns. So I'm not entirely new to the game. I have both a GM or player character. I have played D D since fifth edition came out. About six years ago. So I'm gonna let my players introduce themselves. I'm gonna start with uh, the bottom left, Persevain. That would be me. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Ash. I'm a human, playing a human character uh, called Persevane, who is a f level one fighter for now. Uh, and by for now, I mean either until he levels up or is murdered. Because <laughs> the last time I played uh, Dragon Heist, I think we made it most of the way through the first session and then were murdered by birds. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we did a test run. Uh, we did like an introduction uh, way, way, way back, like last fall, if I remember it correctly, when one of our original players for our previous campaign had to leave. Hello, Gail. Welcome back. Hello. Why don't you introduce yourself again? You and your character. All right. Alrighty. Uh, my name is Daniel. I am playing Gail, the <laughs> half elf cleric. Currently level one. Let's see how this goes. Last time I was a paladin and I died, along with Ash. <laughs> wow. And we have a new player joining us today. Durlin, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Carter. Um, I'm playing uh, Durlin, a um, wood elf uh, druid. Um, and I'm new. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, so before we jump into the game, um, a little uh, back talk. Uh, last time you guys, um, uh, first Wayne, Gail, and uh, Natalie, you met up in the young portal. Uh, you didn't know each other, you were complete strangers to each other. To other. Uh, you were enjoying uh, some nice alcohol and the food and enjoying the warmth uh, the only portal had to offer 
and uh, a comfortable music from uh, a barn sitting uh, next to a bonfire. Uh, after a while, uh, a man approached a half orc female and uh, yeah, he accused her of killing his mates and they started a brothel. Uh, first way, you intervened. Hang on, you. did you say they started a brothel? Mm. They started a fight. They're living the dream. That's a brawl, <laughs> not a brothel. Oh, a brothel is a different thing. <laughs> or a tussle. <laughs> a tussle, yes. I was gonna say a brothel. Ah, well. Yeah. My English sucks today. Uh, yeah, they started a small fight. Yeah, you. First way, you. Jumped in like uh, the heroic warrior and just punched one of the guys in the face. I sure did. Oh, yeah. yeah. You knocked him like. Uh, you punched him down to the floor. And after that short little skirmish, you guys went on with your business. And, but. The beast didn't last long because a uh, troll and a couple of sturges emerged. And then called on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. And uh, that's when uh, no, yeah. your uh, teammate, one of your uh, teammates, Natalie, uh, was knocked unconscious by a troll <laughs> and sorry for that my friend is sitting next to me and I'm outside my gaming table I have pushed the talk so carry on and uh, yeah uh, you guys uh, jumped in Durnham and another uh, brave knight jumped in to stop the troll and they managed to uh, kill it and uh, yeah, pushing it off the. Uh, pushing it off into the hole again. But Natalie also did something. She managed to. Uh, uh, like. Uh, Wait a minute. That's unfortunate. Uh, she. Uh, Natalie used a uh, special ability to call for a female version of the troll. And try to trick the troll of jumping in. In doing so, we managed to kill it with fire and stabbing. That's a pretty classical way to kill something fire and stabbing. Yeah, fire and stabbing. <laughs> And then yeah, after that you were approached by a uh, famous wizard and author, Volo. Or Volo fan. Ah. Uh, and he was offering you guys a job about uh, finding a fr uh, lost friend of mine. Our uh, office. And he offered you 10 gold pieces in advance and another 10 times that amount if you manage to find him. You... Yeah, I'm not. Well, poor Sylvain is like totally on board for that, but Ash is somewhat skeptical. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. That seems. Weird. So am I here right now, or am I? Uh, no, not uh, right now. You will. Okay. Yeah, uh, you will face. Uh, they are the the party members went off in uh, into the city. Uh, you got a tip from Bolo to visit the Skewer Dragon, uh, a small tavern uh, in the Dock Wars. Mm. So you went in there to gather information, and you. Two went up north uh, in the city uh, towards 
We went south from the. Um, yeah, you went south from from the portal. Uh, then you get uh, to Sweet Dragon, and then you got the information there, and then you had to back uh, back forth north. Yep, to uh, Candle Lane, I believe it was. Yes. And from there, I think we went home to sleep first. No, we slept at the bar. After the troll fight, you slept. That's right, we did. We slept at the bar after the troll fight. And so we ju I think we just arrived. I don't think we'd gone into... We got to Candle Lane yet. I think that's where we ended it, right? Yes, you ended it there. So you, I'm going to move it to that map. So here we are. You guys can see the map. Mhm. Mm okay. I can. Yeah. I can indeed. I just have to center it over our characters. So you are right here in the capital city. And. Uh, how high is your passive per uh, perception, uh, Persuade and Gale? Uh, passive perception is 15. Uh, I think 13. Okay, Gale, you notice that you've been uh, stalked by a uh, humanoid. Someone has been following you for. Uh, the last hour or two. Man, long time. Alright. I guess I look at Persevane. We've been I'm oblivious, I have not noticed anything. We've been followed for about an hour. Oh, you have to have a passive yeah, pass perception of 14 my. Indeed. Mm. I saw it. Mm. Okay. Alright. What do you want to do about it? Hmm. Curious. Could be nothing. Could be something. I shall send Whipperforth. Whipperforth. I I request that you go forth and look at this miscreant who follows us. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what voice I'm going to do for Whipperforth because he can speak. Um, but... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> to Dude, no, I have to teach. <laughs> I, I ruled my voice last week as it was. Uh, no, no, oh. it'll probably probably be some sort of British accent. Yeah, uh, you can I, do a British. Or... figuring it out. You can do it. So, it's a Lisa. Lisa. Whatever. <laughs> a British, British Mickey. I was thinking. I was thinking more like John Cleese. Yeah, John Cleese. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, he's, or possibly he's... like Sir Bedivere. Anyway, um, what was his name? I forget the actor's name. Anyway, I uh, I sent I have uh, Whipperforth go back and like sort of fly up and loop around to come up behind whoever this person is, and he can. I think we decided last week he can speak to me telepathically for like a hundred feet. Yes. Is this a what kind of? Is this a spell? Ah, uh, so Whipperforth or... is a Lantern Dragonette. He's from one of the Cobalt Press uh, Beast Supplementals. I forget the name of it. Tome of Beasts or something like that. Gotcha. Um, so if you want to look at his stats, he's there. He's this tiny dragonkin. Tiny drake. Um, and his tummy glows when you feed him wax. <laughs> he's adorable. Uh, yeah, so, he's yeah, cute. He's... He also he's also psychic and can cast spells. But you don't know that yet. Have you tell, uh, told Gail about this or Natalie? Uh, no. They have only been introduced to Whipperforth. Whipperforth has not actually spoken to anyone yet, except for me. Oh. In private. In my head. Yeah, he did that whole telepathic thing uh, with his troll. And, oh, uh, this I just... speak to Whipperforth out loud all the time. It's yeah. just that Whipperforth only replies in my head. So you sound yeah. crazy. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I know. As crazy as someone who talks to their dog. But uh, then it's like, you know, when someone says, you know, tells their dog, you know, fetch or go over here and then the dog does it. That's how crazy I sound. Okay, so from a scale of 1 to 10, you are a 7.5. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, he sounds kind of crazy anyway. Yeah, so, that's yeah cool. I guess. It's cool. <laughs> I like it. Uh, anyway, you, uh, you send uh, your dragon forward and uh, gave point to the direction. And you spot a wood elf spying on you. And uh, okay. that's you, Darlin. You can follow What does Ripper Fourth see? Why don't you tell, uh, tell them? What um, is so you see a six foot two, um, very pale, uh, red haired wood elf, um, with um, his right hand is, one of his hands is covered in um, a brown material with some um, green waving through it, um, and he's not particularly good at sneaking, so he's trying but not. And probably didn't even notice, or probably did notice your creature coming around. I was probably staring at it like, oh god. Looking very confused. Possibly. I mean, you know, he's not unstealthy. Although I didn't roll a stealth check, so who knows. <laughs> Pretty high passive wisdom, passive perception, so... Mm. I, would be, I would be surprised if I didn't see it. So, Darlin, what do you do when you get spotted by the dragon? And uh, one of the... Uh, character, uh, uh, characters you've been following? Uh, what did I do when I saw it? Uh, uh, what, what do you do when they spotted you and uh, the dragon approached you and... Uh, he like showed the uh, others your location. Uh, I guess I'd ready a spell just, <laughs> just in case they attack. Um, so probably ready produce flame and just have a like a small fireball in my hand floating above it, um, floating above my hand, um, and look kind of like ready just in case you attack kind of thing. And be like, <laughs> uh. I'm trying to think of why I'd be following you. Why was I following them? <laughs> I tell um, Gail that it looks like he's preparing to attack because he's holding a small fireball. <laughs> um, Do your uh, intention look hostile? Uh, when you were following, did you, did you, is your intention hostile or... Uh, or are you just afraid of approaching them? Is that why you've been uh, uh, following them? It was a wizard that sent them, right? Yes, uh, yes, it was. So I'm going to assume that I was following them since they... I was following the wizard originally and then he, I saw to get questions out of him. Um, and without getting close. And then I saw them and started following them since then. Um, and intentions are more so defensive rather than hostile. Mm. Um, Facts, not in evidence. I see a man sneaking up behind me holding a fireball. Uh, I'm gonna yell out, um... Alright. Um, I'll slip my shield and draw my sword. Well, what did the wizard send you to do? Question mark. Hey. Um, he has sent them to find a per missing person. Oh, no, I was asking them. We don't know yeah. that. Yeah, you guys know. Uh, I would know that. You you have I, had. I sort of Persevane looks over at Gale. I guess I yell out. So put the fireball down, and we can. Uh, 
I I guess I'll dispel the f produce flame. Yeah, you just close your hand and just dispel it. Mm -hmm. And then you decide to like walk, approach them or. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna keep my distance. Um, I'll move a little bit closer, just enough where I'm not yelling at them from a distance. But I'll, I'm still gonna kind of keep it so I'm out of sword length. Uh, you're about uh, 30 feet away from them. Okay. I walked up. I'm gonna have um, uh, whip a fourth circle back around, not fly direct, but circle back around, come up land on my shoulder and I'm going to walk up about a step behind Gale just like I'm letting him take the lead but I'm and I, I put my sword away but I still have my shield out and I've got Gale and so I've got Gale on my shield side so that if I have to I can sort of step forward and cover him with my shield okay What did the wizard send you to do? I'm asking them. Okay, well, I suppose that isn't a secret. We're helping him find a friend. Missing for a few. Hmm. Well. I need to talk to the wizard. May I join you to get favor with him? I guess I'll look at first of it. What do you think? You fire. Poor Sylvain just shrugs. Is it, is it, this is... Working with people is not a thing he is used to doing. Hmm. I don't know. Watch your own. And the reward you need to talk to the wizard about. What I need to talk to the wizard about is my own concern. <laughs> but wow, we have intrigues. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting paid for this, so if you want to get paid for I don't want wizard. the pay. You can have the pay. Just At the mention of, like, profit sharing, uh... Of it tenses up a little bit, but he doesn't say anything. Hmm. If you don't let, if you don't allow me to join you, I will fall. I will follow you still. I'm fine with. The more the merrier. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. It seems like Natalie got lost. Could use a third. Hmm. I'm sure she'll find us when she regains her sense of direction. She is not new to these lands. Okay, so you have a new party member. Uh, before we start heading off, oh yeah, I need your name. Derlin. Derlin. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll see if he's a new party member. <laughs> and we'll see. <laughs> Okay. I always, always thought to introduce myself. The name's Gale. And then I turn around and start walking. Okay, so you approach... Uh, you meet in this dark alleyway. Uh, the buildings on the night side of the lane are so tall and so tightly packed together. Light touches the street on the high sun. Gloom envelops a narrow alley as dark as a dungeon and as odorous as one too. Nearly all the street lamps have been smashed. The only light that pierces the darkness is a faint flickering from down the lane, like a distant candle. Like a candle in the wind? Like a candle in the lane. Hard, that doesn't hard. work nearly so well. <laughs> I thought it was great. <laughs> well, that is called candle lane. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you have found your destination. You have found. You were searching for 
a hide a hideout of some sort. Uh, with the snake on the yes. With the snake. Yes, and you have found it. You found the hideout. And I'm gonna transform. Uh, I'm gonna move you towards that map. I hope all of you can see the map. It is a big black screen. Yeah, same here. It's a big black screen? Hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay, no, I can see something at the end. Uh, can you see at the t uh, on the left side? I see I can. Can you see your tokens there? Zoom all the way out. Oh yeah, they're back in. <laughs> That's still black for me. It's not that. Uh, it's it's not that big. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because it's dark for you because you don't have dark vision. It's totally it's too dark for you. I. Our wood elf friend should have a uh, dark vision though. I do have dark vision, yes. Can you see? I we both has dark vision now. <laughs> can so you can you see through him? I cannot. The half elf also should have. Oh wait. Then. Yeah, I can see. I can see the, the tokens here. Oh, I can no, see I can now. See I guess I also cast Produce Flame again, because that can, um, can produce up to 15 feet of light. For those of us who can't see. Can you see about 10 feet? <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, I can see... Assuming these squares are five foot squares, like maybe 50, 40. 60 feet. Oh, I can see 40 feet, but I'm in the back, so. I guess as Derlin about to cast his, his spell, I tell him to stop. Why? We don't want. We don't know Fair what's enough. in. Yeah, exactly, you don't know what's in there. Hmm. Experience though. We don't like to be found. They're hiding something. Uh, Maybe we should go to see what they're hiding. So you can see like a big uh, two story building with, uh, uh, with the snake symbol on it. Uh, you see no visible windows uh, on the bottom floor. You, you can see on, t on the second floor uh, uh, two uh, two small windows on the top floor. Otherwise, it's, there's no. Uh, you can see no point of entry besides maybe the main entrance. I guess I go down here mm -hmm. to the gate, I suppose. Yeah, you can see uh, a gate over here. Uh, this is like a uh, uh, fence. I'll follow down um, with Whipperforth on my shoulder. Okay. Uh, okay, when you come for uh, come down here, uh, including uh, uh, Whipperforth, you can see a window over here and you see a big gate over here you can see right here when you narrow through the fences the fence is about 10 feet high and you can see uh, gates also a gate down here I try to open the gate slowly Uh... 
I'm gonna stick by um Gail. I'm gonna stay up on this side. The gate. Stand and buy. The gate opens. Alright, I walk. Actually, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna walk in here and make a perception check to see if I notice anything in the windows. Uh, there's only one window. I'm gonna if there's anything in the 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 window. Okay, roll perception. Like a doggy in the window. Uh, it's not 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 a great roll. Mm, no, you don't see it. It's too dark inside. You can probably uh, uh, see. Uh, some crates blocking your view. That's about it. And there are windows on the second floor? Uh, yeah, but it's not on this side. Okay. I want to do a, just a general visual scan of the yard. Just to sort of... Okay. See. Yeah, go ahead. Perception? Yes. Uh, it's like a uh, yard, it's, uh, you see a pile of debris uh, here and uh, some junk over here. It's, it's not that uh, looked after. Uh, can I see like a door or some entrance? Yeah, yeah you can see a big gate here and a small door here. Right, can I go? I'm gonna go over to that door and see if I can open it. Sure thing. I don't have to roll anything. Okay. I'm gonna ask oh. Whipperforth to go upstairs and have a look into the second floor windows. I'm gonna like, tell. Sneakily. Sneakily go up and have a look. Okay. And then I'll move him. Darlin, before you do anything, remember. I'm gonna move him up here. There. He flies, he flies up and he sees, no, he, he can, he can uh, distinguish like a, a rat in both windows and some old furniture, nothing more than that. The rats aren't that, it's not uh, big, it's like food for your little guy. He doesn't eat rats, um, but okay, he can come back, when he's, when he's told me that, he can come back to my shoulder. Oh, okay, he's right here. I don't know. Yeah. Wax is like candles are usually made from like animal fat. That's true. Mm. Uh, but also be made from other types of fat. I mean, they can also be made from like straight up like beeswax. So I'm just trying to figure out if Whipperforth is vegetarian. <laughs> well, you can like, actually try to figure, figure that out during this campaign. <laughs> is he you can like to try to uh, kill a rat or a mouse or something and try to feed him that or. Um, then if that doesn't work, or I can just I... ask him. <laughs> you can, yeah. He's an intelligent dragon. He can <laughs> speak to me. I can just say, "Hey, are you vegetarian?" Oh, oh you don't know. That's what he's gonna say. Oh, <laughs> fuck off with that voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that voice. Uh, that's good. Maybe, Maybe I should let Gale do the voice. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. A special, I, there's a specific reason I will never let Gale play as Whipperforth, and it will become apparent later on. <laughs> uh, that was so good. Get a fireball in. Uh, okay, darling, you touch the door. Uh, you uh, put your hand on the handle, and the door is unlocked. Unlocked? Okay. I'm gonna take my um, hand axe out and hold it in one of my hands and push the door open with my other one, I'm trying to be quiet. It, before he does it, I'm gonna cast bless on the three of us. Actually, how many people is it? It's uh, for three people. Three. Three people. Yes, on um, first level it's uh, three people. I'm gonna cast it on me, uh, Persevere, and Derlin. I'm gonna say, once again. So what does a blast do again? Bless, you add uh, 1d4 uh, to your attacks ah. and saving throws. Okay. I will add that to your sheets. Uh, 
Um, so I'm gonna try and quietly push the door open, holding my holding my axe. <laughs> Okay, uh, Dernan, you should have a global attack modifier on the sheets. I will do the same thing for uh, the rest of you. Good question. I'm trying to avoid getting flashbacks. Oh. As am I. Uh, okay. Try not to get flashbacks. You yeah, have not been, been here before. before. <laughs> um, okay, okay, so no. uh, both of you should have... Uh, no. uh, all three of you should have global modifiers on your sheets now. Uh, with no, plus. Cool. So you, you can, can, when you don't, don't have plus, you just... Uh, on. Not do it and do it on your global save modifier and the global attack modifier. I'm gonna test it out real quick. Let's see how. Yeah, go for it. Plus two. Cool. All right. Yeah. It's gonna do the same uh, when you do a save throw. When you have less. Oh, well, that that was a nice roll. <laughs> Yeah, it was, actually. You wasted it. You wasted it! <laughs> oh, well. Alright, uh, so when I open the door, what do I see? Uh, when you open the door, you get attacked. Great! Great! <laughs> Uh, you get attacked by a short ball. That's nice. Yeah. That's a 14 hit you. Yes. <laughs> okay, you take, oh, six, man, really you, really. you take six piercing damage and uh, roll initiative dice. Great. <laughs> I really wanted to stop you, but I don't want to meta. <laughs> yeah, and I suppress you guys in your mouth to stop. I can't even bother. I have a negative one modifier. I need to roll again. But I got. You all beat me, so. Surprising, because I have a negative one. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Rip a fourth and I go on the same initiative. Yes, you do. Or spell. God, level one is weird. It's super weird. I think I have two spell slots. In this. Okay, I roll very good on my initial rolls. Oh, God. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. It, it can't happen again. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Initiative is an oh no never mind that's that would be guidance damn. Uh, I'm not on the uh, torn order. Uh, did you click your token? I did. I can do a re-roll or just keep what I had. You can re-roll and just add it. Yeah, yeah. re-roll. Make sure you uh, take your token and then well, press initiative. Well, same thing. <laughs> yeah, but you have to you oh, have to like click your token. token. I did. It's on there. He's it's on the bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's below me. Okay. There. Okay. He's on there. I rolled the same thing. Yeah. You rolled on that. Okay. Good. I looked at. I I, do, I don't even have to do the order again. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. I don't have to make. You're gonna get a little bit. Um. You're gonna get a little bit roughed up. I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, you hear like a crackling sound. <laughs> Hmm. And uh, you see, uh, you you hear like a cracking sound from a bird. You don't actually know from where. 
You, you just got attacked. attacked. That's, That's all you know. Great. Okay. Okay. Get back. And the next one. my turn. <laughs> no, it's not there in the swift perforce. So. So. It was nice knowing you, Darlin. You know, it was a good, it was a good run. Yeah, very nervous guy. I know. I like. You, it. you see uh, a bird-like creature come out from the shadows, and he's gonna shoot you with a uh, short bow. Anyone have any healing? I goddamn, <laughs> I do. Oh my god! Good. <laughs> oh my god! Come on, damn it! Slow down. Oh my god, you're down! Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, Whipper Force and Bison <laughs> Wing. <laughs> you just saw your in okay, so he's, intern. He's down. You just saw your intern just pop down. Like All right. so. Uh, it's okay. Whipper Force is going to fly back and sort of like perch on top of the gate. I'm going to go forward, step over the body of Dylan step into that space with my shield raised okay I'm Get going to say I'm going to say to uh, to what's your Gail um, yep. you know heal the boy and I'm going to draw my sword and hunker down behind my shield and I'm gonna hold my action until something comes close to me so I can hit it in the face yeah you don't see anything inside because it should be dark for you it's yeah, it's real dark in here. Yep. And I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> Are you sure yeah. you don't want to dodge? <laughs> I don't have the dodge action. Yeah, you do. Everyone yeah, does. Everyone has the dodge action. Rogues can do it as a bonus. No, actually, monks can do it as a bonus. Uh, I'd rather tank the hit and then hit something. Alright. Okay. I mean, you've seen how hard they hit. Yeah, they I have. have. I've also seen what they roll to hit. I think I've got a better chance than most of not getting hit. Mm. You see yeah, another. Uh, you, okay, so you don't see this one. So, so you, you, you what, since, nice. since you can't see, uh, oh, right. it is it is eighteen because it's I had, sorry I was I did I had to change up I changed oh. back to scale mail and with the shield yeah it's eighteen. Oh. Okay, so this uh, next attack comes with advantage against because you don't you can't see it. Okay. Isn't there some light coming in? Like, right. Through the door. There. Yeah, that hits. But that means he's close enough for me to hit. Uh, with so a I'm short also bow. Going... Yeah, with a oh. short bow. There. And uh, so okay. seven piercing. Okay. And uh, you hear like a crackling sound. Yet again, come from inside. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna continue to stand there and hold my action. Um, I'm just covering Sterling's corpse uh, or unconscious body, and um, Gail can come yet? over and heal him. So Gail, I think it's your, oh no! I think Gail, I think it's your turn. I think that's another Kenku. Yeah, that's another. That's another Kenku. Just letting you know, whoever's clicking, people can. It's really loud in the stream, apparently. My friend of mine's watching it. Just click. Sounds like someone playing with coins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was me. I didn't think the mic could be. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it was. It, I knew it was one of you because you because you did it last time as well. Oh okay. <laughs> well, I got a I got a bunch of fifty cent pieces and I haven't had those, so I like playing with because they're huge. Yeah, they can hear it on the stream really loud. Mm. All right, I'll put them away. Uh, okay. Actually, uh. I did something wrong. 
Chris Wing, what's your AC? My AC is 18. Okay, yeah, it would hit. They don't have advantage. Uh, but uh, uh, they can't see in the dark since you have opened it. Uh, actually, they have advantage because uh, they can see you in the lights right where you are. It's light here. So, uh, next attack is also going to be with advantage. Because they can, uh, they can, they can, they don't have dark vision, but they can see in this uh, opening. God damn it! Don't get hit. What did I tell you? <laughs> you think, oh my god! You take a lot of four damage. Gale, it's your turn. Still. Yeah, I'm still up. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I only got one heal left. <sighs> I have one as well. So. Okay. So. I run in, 10, 15, 20, I use my bonus action, the healing work, get, uh, Durlin, so you're gonna heal up, final spell, what? 7 plus 3, um, you heal up, 10, you heal 10. I'm up to full. Life clerics. And Gail, when you come in, you spot uh, a couple of kangoos, bird-like creatures. All right, so I guess as I'm running in and I heal Derlin, I sternly look at him and I say, "I told you to be careful." And I take the the dodge action in front of my friend, actually right. Five feet in front of a person. Oh well, yeah, you, wait. You, you took, took the dodge action, action right? No, no, you didn't take the dodge action. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I right. did not. No. Yeah. So that's why. You... I held my action. Yeah. So I, I hold up my rusty, uh, beat up shield, and have my rusty and chip mace at my side, and I dodge. That's my turn. Okay, so Derlin, yeah, you have been risen from the unconscious world. After getting hit by uh, two arrows coming from inside this compound. So what do you do? Gale? Yeah? Uh, oh no, uh, okay, uh, Derlin, Derlin. Uh, I can't hear Derlin. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Um, I forgot I was supposed to talk. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna heal, um, Persevain? Persevain? Is that your name? Persevain. Persevain. I'm gonna heal you for seven hit points. And then, Hooray! duck behind the wall that's right here for, for <laughs> partial cover or something. Okay, you still have an action to do. Uh, oh, it's, bo it's a bonus action? Yes, yeah, so you can either use an attack action or a cantrip. Uh, I'm gonna use. Dodge. Or dodge. Well, I'm, since I'm hiding behind the wall, do I get partial cover? Or... Yes, you get uh, cover. Yeah, you are. You are like totally obscured. Uh, uh, this one might be able to see you, but you have a uh, very good cover because of the way in the wall. You can also close the door. <laughs> close the door and leave you guys. Okay, bye. Have fun. Uh, no, uh, I'm gonna. Use produce flame on the closest one I can see, um, which I guess would be the one you were just whatever the closest one is. Um. <laughs> okay, so eighteen, uh, nineteen. So you do 
Did I roll an 18 plus one? Mm, oh, yeah. there's a blast. Uh, okay, wait. the blast, sorry. Oh, you got double ones? Uh, wait. I'm gonna check that. Doesn't seem. Okay, okay, that's weird. Uh, how can you have how can you have plus eight? You should have plus six. I still have a plus six, I believe. Oh, yeah, it's just yeah. added to the twenty-two. I was gonna say, well, he didn't s roll a twenty-two. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. Should I do the roll the first produce slam or the second produce slam? Uh, yeah, I, I just checked something, so. <laughs> I'll just do the first one. It's so a six fire damage to the closest one. Six fire damage. Six to to the six fire damage to this one. Okay. Okay. Can I reach them? Yeah, you got a shot it in there. Yeah, you have a 30-30, so you can reach it. Okay. So I guess you just see me kind of roll around, and like, ro like, push my bot, like, my hand through the door, just a little bit, like, lean over through the door, and then throw fireballs, whatever I could see, and then go back. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh, you did some damage. That's good. I healed too. I did something else. Yeah, you did. You did good. And Gale put you back to life. So now it's the Kinky's turn. Yeah. So there is a Kinky coming. Fourth. It's gonna stand here and it's gonna try and shoot you, Gale, with a short bow. That's me. <laughs> Thirteen. I'm dodging. Oh, yeah, you're dodging. Yeah. Yep. So that's a miss. And this can go over here. It's gonna come towards you, Gail, and hit you with a short sword. And he misses with an eight. We prefer them preserving. Okay. Uh, now I have a question. Where is the window on this place again? Uh, the bottom floor or the upper floor? Bottom floor. Uh, it's uh, right here. On the outside. Oh, okay. Alright, useless to me. Alright. Um, okay, so before it's going to stay outside. Um, and I, the one that got hit with the fire, did I see where that landed? It landed somewhere in this area. Somewhere here. Okay. You can... Uh, I'm gonna... It landed somewhere here, oh. and... Uh, yeah, because I can't, I literally, physically yeah. can't see. Yeah, so you know... So I'm going to try and make saw. my way... Oh, hang on. I go one step forward and there's something in front of me, so I'm going to hit it. Yep. Go ahead. And I'm one-handing my longsword. Ugh. It's a third... I double force. Yeah. Does a 12 hit? Uh, 12... <laughs> That's not hit. Mm. Wait, isn't that uh, 13? I only get the one hit at no, this that's, uh, level, yeah, so... 
Yeah, which I do not have. So, that's alright. Um, okay. It was a good blast, though. It was really a good blast. Let's work out great. I rolled a natural one. Yeah, and that would have been a lot more failure otherwise. If I'd rolled anything else... Yeah. It would have been fine. Yeah. All <laughs> that roll ones, uh, even if you match uh, uh, time their AC, it will be on automatic, uh, automatic failure. Mm. Just so you know. Even if you roll a 12 like that and they have an AC of 10 or 11, you will automatically fail. It's not a whole rule, it's a core rule book. Anything well, else? Hang on, hang on. Why does it fail? Uh, because, because it's, it's a natural fail. Oh, yeah, because it's a natural one. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you were saying if I rolled like a three or a four, it still would have failed. And no, no, like, no, no. It's so all, all nat ones uh, will automatically fail. Yeah. It's like able. all natural 20s automatically succeed. Yeah. No, no. That's it's cool. In, it's in the. Uh, yeah, it's, it's in the SRD. That's yeah. fine. Uh, any bonus actions? Um, I have. No bonus actions at this time. Okay. Then it's uh, another Kinky's turn. And it's the one that got hurt. He's going to go forward to you, Gail, and he's going to try and hurt you. For payback. But misses. <laughs> nope. He misses uh, badly. This kangaroo over here, way back. He's gonna position him, himself. Like. Uh, there. He's gonna shoot at you, Persevine. And uh, he has advantage because you can see him. But I guess in a 15 will not hit you. First way. First 15 does not hit me. 15 does not hit me. Yeah, first way. Okay. Gale. You're quite surrounded by kangoos. Nothing. The wounded is right here. Yeah, but I need my friend to be able to hit, so... I touch a shield and I cast light on his shield. Okay. Boss. Okay, uh, uh, oh, wait, Presbyterian, you have light. Which means I can see shit. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Should be able to see now. Yeah, I can. Good. But that helped the rest of us too. Or... Yeah, should. I'd imagine so. Big directional torch. <laughs> hey, if there's nothing else you want to do, uh, Gail, I'm. Uh, do I... they have disadvantage because I'm hard to see behind a glowing shield? And. Um... Um, like when someone's shining a torch in your eyes. Just like normal light strikes from a torch or something like that, so it's not like bright light. Worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, Derlin. Okay, uh, I'm gonna remain where I am. And... Do the same thing I did previously, but this time just produce flame. That's the closest. Oh, I think that hits. Uh, which one? Maybe twenty-five. Uh, the closest one I can see. So probably this one. Yeah, say that you can see him. Yes. So twenty-five will hit. Two fire damage. Well then. Okay, well that's my turn. Stay hidden. 
Uh, no bonus actions? I uh, only have healing word as a bonus action, so no. Okay. Kinky start. Uh, this Kinky is gonna position himself here and uh, try to shoot Gale. That's a 22 hit you. Sadly, it does. Yeah. No. You take 4 piercing damage. And you can't say, ah, 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 ah. Alright, now I have to make a save. Yes. That's good. You have to beat the tab. Oh, there, goes, there goes Bless. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so you just uh, unpress uh, on your sheets the global glass on your sheet on your saves and the attacks. Should have oh. saved it for Bane. All right. Okay, this Kenku is gonna slash Gale. At least try to, but he misses terribly. He does it. Coin! We perforce and press vein. Alright, now that I can see, uh, I am going to swing again. I'm actually going to move up to here and swing again on this guy. Go ahead. That's better. I mean, not a lot better. Well, 13 hits. Alright. Uh, so he takes anything. 11 slashing. Oh yeah. He and I'm going like to use a bonus action to shove him 5 feet in... Well, in this direction. And okay. I think that means that he has to make a... It's a strength. Check this. Yeah, I think it's a strength. Or he falls on his butt. Yeah. <laughs> it just says shove. And I assume that shove is just shove where they have to make a strength check to not fall yeah. down. Right? Yeah. Yes. I think it's an athletics or acrobatics check. Uh, I it was athletics. Yeah. And he rolled a crit. And an up ball. <laughs> <laughs> So, unless you roll a higher uh, ability check to push him, he's... Unless I crit. Yeah. Um, so, I, do I just make a straight strength check? Yes, it's his strength against yours. Uh, or you can do uh, athletics. Okay. okay, hang on a second. I think it's your strength. Uh, athletics or strength? Because I have... I will look into it. Alright, but for now, do I roll strength or athletics? Uh, roll strength for now. Okay. Nope. Fucking yeah, he is very sturdy. The low roll curse continues. Yeah, he's very sturdy. He's like... Uh, he's like a... Mm. Yes. Birds known for their sturdiness. <laughs> he's like a big... Hawking stuff, you don't move me, I move you. It's like a mower or an emu. Yeah, mate. Uh, this Kenku is gonna do the same thing. This one is gonna slash at Gale. For 23. Uh, where's your AC? Uh, is that against me? Uh, yeah. Hey, you take six I am looking rough. I have another healing thing, so... Should be okay. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, there's another kangaroo around. He's gonna shoot at... Presvane. And he does not have advantage right now. Because of the light.
Um, just reading out, should have been strength athletics contested contested by either strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics. Yeah, okay. We will that for the next time. Four. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. uh, well, he rolls in that one. He, his hair just flip off so his uh, when he was just about to shoot. He He looks terrible. Gale. All right. Don't really have much left to do. Let's see. Well, you have two wounded kangaroos next to you. I guess the one that uh, this guy right here. Okay. I'm gonna cast. It's all the dead. All the wisdom saving throw. Or he takes. For G. I so just hit him. And he natural fails. Well, he takes four damage. This one? Uh, this one. Yeah. Okay, well, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Hey. So, he's gone. Anything else? Uh, no. That's it. Okay. Derlin. Okay. So, um, Gail looked, you looked injured, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna move over five feet so I can actually see. And use healing word on Gail. Uh, so another seven. Nice. Uh, <laughs> here you go. Uh, and then I guess I'll use my short bow and shoot the kanku that's in front. Can I do that without shooting, Gale? Uh, you can use. Uh, you gonna use this flame or an or or range attack? I, I, I have short bow. I have short bow. Yeah, you can shoot him. <laughs> Six piercing damage. Okay, still up. Damn it. So, uh, anything else? You gonna move some more? Uh, I'm gonna move back to my hiding spot. <laughs> okay. And uh, this can kill you. Ah! Ah! Uh, just screams out in, and just rushes towards first lane after losing his combat. And he's gonna try and attack you with his short sword. Try to. Fuck him. Yeah. Uh, he fucks you too. Hey, misses. <laughs> And Whipperforce. Not almost dead. Oh. oh, that dude shouldn't have come close. Okay. Should have stayed back, buddy. Alright. Now I'm gonna wallop on him. Get out my long sword. Wallop. Oh, wow. I guess that 18 hits. Oh, uh, yeah. Still up. And I'm going to. Strength Athletics, try and shove him on his butt again. Well, I knew. Uh, he's gonna do... So he has to roll over my 19. You know, if you knock him down first, and then you attack, you have advantage. Nah, the way it's worded is, um, because it's shield mastery, I can use it as a bonus action after I take the attack option. So when I have two attacks I can attack shove attack and when they're on the ground I get uh, advantage but uh. um, it's yeah because I did think of that so I checked the wording it's like no if you use the attack you can use that as a bonus attack what to hell contested athletics or decks 
Okay, okay he's gonna go, go with acrobatics. acrobatics. Oh, suck it! <laughs> on your butt, son. So he's pushed back and he stumbles on this wooden planks and falls on his butt. But he doesn't hurt or injure himself. Anything else you want to do? Uh, nope. That's all I can do right now. Okay. This can do. Yeah, he's he's pissed off. He's gonna slash him, Kale. But I guess fifteen misses. That's a 15 hit you, Gale. Nope. 18 AC. Hmm. Lucky for you, otherwise you'd be in a press. Why did I go yeah. in first? <coughs> I told you to be careful. And this can do. Ah, he just throws his uh, short bow away and takes out his short sword and uh, charges against Persevering. Bing! Nope. No! God damn it! Gale! Uh, how does this one look? Mmm, bloody. So is the one next to you. So is the one next to you. Uh, well, yeah, but I he has advantage Durland. on the one on his butt. Yeah, I saw Durland hitting that guy, so I'm gonna let him have it. And I'm gonna bring the mace down on Kenku on the ground. Advantage, because hey, he's no. prone. Go on. Twelve. Jeez. That is a miss. God. Damn. <laughs> Uh, and anything else before I go to Derlin? That's it. Okay. Derlin! Okay. So which one was I hitting? I, I'm gonna move five feet over back to the door so I can get a better view. Yes. Um, yes. I'm gonna go for this one with Produce Flame. Go ahead. 16 hits, so I can tell you that yeah. he's dead. Whatever you roll, he's dead. <laughs> Seven plus six. I don't know how I got plus six to that, but whatever. Uh, it's, it's a crit, it's a crit, crit roll. Oh. Gotcha. Well. Yay. Okay, uh, and then I guess I'll just move in. Just get in the room finally. Okay. Stop there. Oh. Anything, Anything else? else? Nope, that will oh. be it. Okay. Can't do anything else, anyways. Okay, this Kenku is gonna disengage. He's gonna run past you all. He's gonna run outside. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Not when they disengage you. I don't. Can he run through him? I was in front of the he, door. So he's blocking the door. Um. Sure. He's. Uh, no. He just goes there. If you're, you're blocking the room, where, where, where are you standing, by the way? I'm standing, like, kind of in the doorway, just like, in front of it. Like, like there? I guess so, yeah, that, there. And he comes there and he just stops. He tries to run away. Okay. Gale. Oh, uh, no, Pesswing in the Wickerforth. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, Whipper Fourth is actually going to do something. He's going to come, and he's high. So I'm going to assume he can shoot over uh, Derlin, like he has clear line of sight. GM. Okay. So, what's he going to shoot? What's he using? He's going to use a scorching ray. <laughs> 
a scorching ray. Okay, I have to say with disadvantage because there's a high risk. Oh, he misses. Hit. He misses either way. Yeah. All right. No, that happens. All right. Well, it's uh, a ray. It's three rays so after all three. No. Oh, well, there you go. With three disadvantage. So roll two more times. Oh, that real really misses. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah. So pew pew pew, miss all, all three misses. I would say um, that you um, uh, your nat one failure uh, touches uh, Darlin's arm and uh, gives a little burning mark on his uh, clothes when it hits. It hits here on the wall here. Okay. Do you want me to roll damage for that, or do you uh, want to do no? It? it just gives a burning mark. Uh, his uh, uh, his both uh, arm is uh, damaged. He doesn't take the damage, but it was very close that you could have burned his arm off. GM, do you want me to roll damage, or do you want to do it? Uh, no, no damage. Uh, it was very close okay. that you uh, burned his uh, arm off. Okay. All right. Uh, just update you. Athena can hop on if you want and play for the rest. Is that okay? After, After this fight. fight. Okay. But okay. you can you can listen in, Athena. Uh, you, know. you can listen in. All right. So, uh, gonna attack the guy in front of me with my long sword. Here we go. All right, 15. So he takes eight slashing. And I'm going to shove him again. I'm going to be shoving all the people forever. Go ahead. I'm just a very pushy guy. And let's see if you shove him. You definitely do. I definitely do. And I'm going to say, sit there and think about what you've done. Hmm. You shove him right down on his birdly feather ass. Doesn't lay an egg. No. This Kenki, however, he's going to disengage and jump over these crates and disappear behind, uh, disappear behind them. Okay, what do you do? Oh, I don't like that one bit. I see uh, Derlin dealing with that one, so I'll throw into that. I'm gonna go, go 10. 30. Go there. Yes, it's all the dead. Ooh. Okay, it's a wisdom save. Nice. Has it taken Oof. damage? Mm, yes, he has. So and then he he takes twelve damage. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, my God. oh shit! That's like maximum damage for uh, all the dead, I, I assume. The bell toes for <laughs> that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, shit. Anything else you want to do? I look at um, Darlin. Kill the last one. Okay. That's my turn. Okay, Darlin. Uh, I'm gonna take my hand axe and try and slash him. Oh, yeah. You don't, you, you don't, don't even have to roll. Um, I don't. Oh, I got zero. <laughs> I have a minus one. <laughs> you have a minus one to strength? Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. But it's still a minimum of one day. Okay, that's good. I think it has to be a minimum of one day, which I... I mean... <laughs> seriously. Yeah, heal the, the Kenku with your axe. <laughs> 
It just like uh, it hits him, but it just bounces off. It's like a rubber chicken. I need mean, that. Is a really have to check, check that out. out. I I mean, hand axe is uh, like a light finesse, I think, I think so, so you can, can uh, like can do dexterity instead the, of strength. Yeah. Okay. It's then like a case. light. Uh, it's a light throw, and it's not uh, uh, finesse weapon. Oh. Um. Maybe we'll get you a dagger or something. Yeah, please. Uh, <laughs> is he dead still, or...? Because I think I have disadvantage if I use any of my other distance things. <laughs> yeah, disadvantage of you if you... Because uh, hand legs is light and thrown. And is he still voice. dead? Or? Uh, I, I guess, guess that you miss. You like slash at him and you like miss. If you roll a zero like that, I, I I'm literally gonna call it a miss. Yeah, it's too. It's just my luck. <laughs> yeah, it's too funny, dude. Even if he gets past you, trust me, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Well, this is Kenku's turn, and. Um, I'm still standing in the door. Yeah, he's gonna disengage. He's gonna disengage up here. Uh, he's going for the window. Did he use? Did he use the disengage action? Yes. Because if he, he passes yeah, me, yeah, yeah, he, dis yeah, he disengaged. You gotta get set now. He disengaged over here. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Let's rain in whip for us. All right. I am going to try and knock him unconscious. Um, I'm not sure how that works in 5e. Yeah, you just, just to do no, you just, just do non lethal damage when you knock him. You just okay. say that when you knock him. You, you can use like the handle of your sword or just yeah. bash him with the shield. I was gonna say yeah. I'll try. I'll try and I'll try and hit him with the flat of the blade. You definitely yeah, do. I, I did not mean to roll that twice. Well, you uh, act, you definitely hit him and knocked him unconscious. You just knocked him right in toward this crates or barrels. All right, cool, cool. Um, because I think we should find out some stuff from this guy. I agree. Yeah, and that's right. where the battle. Hands. Holy crap, we survived this time. Yes, <laughs> yes we did. They killed us last time. And I, mean, I guess having heals helps. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, get something. There's some sort of healing at least. Oh, Bless didn't do anything to fight. That sucks. It, oh, it helped a little bit. No, I got it. It wasn't a way completely. Okay, I see now. I'm gonna pop you hey. in here. Hi. Hello. Hello. Sup. I'm gonna pop you in here. You like uh, lost track. You you lost uh, track of uh, Derlin, and you've been running around uh, searching for him in this play in dark alley, and you suddenly you hear some battle voice, and you kind of heard maybe it resembles him. His voice, and you rush. You're rushing towards him right now. You panic, right? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So you are in this. So that before. Uh... Okay, so I'm not in the building yet. I'm about to go into the building. Yeah, you're out. You're outside. All right. Um. So um. Can I can I do things? <laughs> yeah, you can rush in. You can rush in. All right. Uh... I'm gonna rush in there. Derlin! Derlin! Where are you? I can't see anything. Yes, uh, Mom. Oh, uh, wait, you can move Down over. here. You can move there. That's you not go. descriptive. Well, you went the wrong direction. Turn around. Hey, stop moving here. Totally. Yep, keep going. Oh, hey, there we go. Thanks. <laughs> Where the Hi. hell did you go? Are you crazy? 
What the fuck just happened? I collapsed in pain and I could hardly breathe. Uh, no comment. I might have <laughs> taken an arrow or two. Well, wh where'd you go? I turned around and you were just gone. I followed these people. Hi. Hey. I'm Dayella. You have to move inside. Alright, what's going on? Greetings. I am Persevane. This is my boon companion, Whipperforth. Okay. Hello, Whipperforth. <laughs> Whipperforth's outside on top of the fence right now. Oh. This is a, uh interesting creature does it have a name what do you call this thing is whipperforth my boon companion <laughs> is that what the creature is called or is that his name his name is ha 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 no, no. whipperforth okay. is a lantern dragonet thank you i've never seen one before he's beautiful he is um, nice. Nice i am derlin's twin oh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so, so why, why don't you introduce your character to everyone? Yeah, okay. So and this is Athena and talking. And introduce yourself to everyone. Okay, so hi guys, I'm Athena. Um, Carter and I are really good friends, and so when he got accepted, um, I'm learning how to play the game, so I um, hopped in just to listen. I wasn't planning on actually joining you guys, um, but then Hellbard was like, well, you can join if you want to. And I was like, well, I don't want to be a bother. And he was like, well, to make it simpler, why don't you guys be siblings? And so then Carter and I ran with the theory that we're twins because he and I are friends in real life. Um, and I felt like we could role play that rather well. Um, I couldn't be there at the beginning of today because I had an obligation I had to attend, but it ended early. So I figured I'd hop in and catch the second half. <laughs> and that's me. Um, Ayala is my character. Uh, obviously, she's Darlin's twin. Um, and I have this almost the same backstory as Derlin. I am a Carter. What's my power? You're a sorcerer. No, no, not that. The one that's like stupid. <laughs> oh, you're a wild mage sorcerer. I'm a wild mage sorcerer. <laughs> oh, um, those are amazing. Due to <laughs> a dramatic. <laughs> yeah, we have another Ryland. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my character. Um, I don't know if you know that information right off the bat yet. But you can no, see just not. looking at her that she and Dorlin are twins. We look very similar. How do you spell your character's name? D A E L L E. No, sorry. Yeah. D A E L L A. <laughs> Athena, right. if you go to settings, um, yeah, what's up? Top right, you can hit display name and change it to De Deella. Deella. I thought I. Um, top right settings. The gear wheel. Yeah, yep. the gear wheel. Okay. Oh, display name. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Change it. Just hit save name when you're done. Actually, this is a good campaign to learn the game with since we're starting. Yeah, it's like yeah. the sec uh, second session, and we are just going. This is just past the introduction part of the game. So. Yep. Yep, and uh, Sorry, as it I'm turns late. out, <laughs> this is a very uh, high level. Uh, this is very high RP. Uh, campaign, it's not uh, very combat. Uh, it's not very heavy on combat. It's rely much on the uh, role play. Okay. Yeah, and uh, um, Gail's last character was a wild mage, wild magic sorcerer. So, uh, if yep. you need tips, he can give you all of the things. Just um, don't listen to him when it comes to fireballs. Okay. <laughs> always, always yeah. use them. Yeah, you, you can use, use the tabletop uh, chat in Discord uh, to okay. give yourself uh, tips and pointers. Uh, Sounds good. Okay, so you, when you when you kill all these kangos, you see tables and chairs have been carelessly tossed across the floor. The corpses of a dozen men lie along the walls. There are rapiers and daggers lying nearby. On the north side of the area, stairs rise to an open level above. Uh, can I go over and take one of the daggers? <laughs> Absolutely, you can, you can take a couple of daggers. <laughs> okay, I'll take like... How many are there? Uh, about... Six, seven... Daggers. Okay, I'll take all of them. Uh, the corpses, uh, they belong to... Uh, human, uh, human, uh, but uh, you think looks like higher, uh, higher thugs. Uh, 
and also uh, you can see uh, some uh, cell source, human cell source. So it is a big group of uh, corpses all around this place, and they look like been eating. Uh, and uh, yeah, the king uh, seems to have been eating on them, or feeding on them. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna pick up some of the weapons that are there. You said there are some rapiers? Uh, yes. There are. Uh, I'm gonna take, I guess, two of them. Okay, okay. Ripperforth and I are going to do a circuit of the room. They are a little, uh, they, they are, uh, the daggers and uh, the rapiers are in bad shape. They, they aren't that. High quality readers, but you can get them to us ready to repair them. Easily. I'll probably sell them. Oh. Okay, so you, uh, what did you do, Gail? You remember you have one unconscious kink who was about to wake up. Oh, yeah. I, I toss a. Persevere my a rope. And I tie up the kinku. Okay, the kangaroo is uh, tied up and restrained towards uh, in the barrels. So you tied him to one of the barrels. So he's not moving anywhere. Cool. Uh, look at Dale. Say, uh, your brother was was a big help. Yeah, I figured. I could feel it. No, oh, Darlin, thank you. No problem. Glad you took me now. I was fine with you coming. <laughs> but yes, I'm glad you came with me. So what are uh, we your chances, you your, your chances of survival with, with just uh, the two of you were like 15%? <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, Dela, we're looking for a, a friend of a person who hired us. And what do the crows have to do with that? Of well, that we are not sure. We shall okay. question this miscreant and determine what they are about. Hmm. All right. Well, let's, are we waiting for him to wake up? Indeed. Well, the kangaroo has woken up, and he uh, looks uh, uh, on his bindings, and he looks up at you and crack, 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 crack. I'm gonna let Galen handle this one. I'm fairly sure Kenku's uh, gonna only speak uh, for things that they've heard. If I'm I mean, correctly. Do, do we know this as characters, though? Or is this gonna be like a weird oh. little experiment? I guess we'd have to figure do that out. Do we know anything about Kenku? Uh, yeah. You know very little about them. You haven't uh, met many Kenkus in the city. Oh, can Whipperforth make a history check? Sure, yeah, you can. <laughs> can I make a history check? Yeah, you can. Those of you who can want to make a history check, sure. Do a history check. I am proficient. 14. Seven. Good, enough. that's uh, good. Oh, they, yeah. they are. <laughs> they are. Hi! Both Gail and Yella. You succeed in. Yeah, you kind of know that these are. Uh, they, uh, they uh, like to protect their territory. They are very territorial, and they attack everyone that's uh, not recognizable to them. They, they don't recognize. Okay, I'm and gonna. They, and they always, where... they always like you have uh, been shown. That, uh, since you see all the corpses, they eat all their prey. Everything they kill, they eat. I lean over and I whisper that information into uh, Durlin's ear. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. Look at uh, Persevane. These little guys are pretty territorial. This is their place. Or they just made it their place. Either one. Mm. I don't know if they well, can speak. Can any... 
can any of us speak to this creature, or are we just stuck listening right. to this squawking? Okay, so what do you want to do? So you're gonna try and interrogate him? Sure. Uh, roll, me an in, roll me an intimidation check. I'm gonna cast um, guidance on myself. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Give myself a d4 for this. Yeah. Oh man. That's yeah, bad. you. Okay. So 22. Yes. Oh yeah. You... Okay, <laughs> that was. Oh yeah, you have to use it. But... Okay. The Kenku speaks. They in, uh, in uh, common. Uh, the, the deep voice. All the doors and its regards. In like uh, or half orcish accent. Um, that didn't make any sense. And in, in a thin, nasally voice, it tie up to pick the boy in the back room and follow the yellow signs to the sewers. Poor Savan is going to go and check the back room. I cast light on his shield again. And, uh, and in a spread voice. No time to loot the place! Just get him to the boss! I don't believe he's there anymore. So, what do you guys do? Do you. Um. Do you finish him off, or uh, what do you guys do? Uh, I'm gonna look at Dayella and be like, "Should no, absolutely not." I'm walking out of the room because I have a feeling that killing is gonna start happening, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit out here and wait for that to be done. Thank you uh, very much. I, I can I go into this room at the back? My token won't go in. Uh, uh, okay, you go, you're going upstairs, but when you go upstairs, you hear like a... I'm gonna bust that door open. Uh, you hear like God, something from underneath you. Careful. You hear something from oh. underneath you. Alright, then I go down, and I go around. Like, is there a door underneath? Uh, wrong perception. Oh god, this is gonna go well. I should have gone with you. Do you hear like a moment? I, 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 I perceive it. I perceive everything. Oh, uh, yeah. I see the code. <laughs> you find a secret door. You find a secret door. A secret door? Yes. And a, and a boy? A yes. tied up boy? Oh, this is like my weekend all over again. Oh, God. Was it fun though? Well, I mean, for me. Gail, you, you did find, you find anything? What did you found? Um, I found. I you... found a boy. You yeah, actually found a young man. You find a young man. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna undo these ropes. The kanku. No, the boy. This is the boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the king is not going anywhere. He's like very restrained. Uh, I guess while they're doing that, I look at the kinku and I say, "All of your friends are dead. You can live with that, or I can let you go. You can live alone, or you can go free. What's your choice?" And this man said, oh, oh, "Thank you." So, uh, thank you, Brave Knight. Think I... nothing of it, boy. Why do you tied up in a room? Uh, I... I'm not sure. Uh, I was uh, ambushed uh, outside the uh, tavern uh, the skewed, called the Skewer Dragons uh, a couple of days ago. My, 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 the skewer dragon is a tavern in the dock ward. Ah, uh, what was the name of um 
Volo's friend that we were looking for. Floon. Floon. Would you be, perchance, Master Floon? No, my name is uh, Raynor, and uh, Raynor never ever. Ugh, not the one we're looking for. I'm very, I'm, I'm, very, I'm, clo I'm close friends to uh, Floon. Uh, I, w I, uh, I drank with him uh, a couple of days ago. Oh, what's wrong? Well, what's, what's wrong with Floon? He is a friend looking for him. He's he's been uh, he's disappeared. Supposedly. Someone's been someone's been drinking here. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I was I was kidnapped. Uh, uh, but uh, why? About two days ago. I, I'm not sure. Did you say Flu disappeared too? It yeah, seems so that way. Uh, only if I was taken instead of him, and so other guys took him. I. Uh, I feel guilty uh, that the has been taken out. Uh, Did you see maybe, your maybe, attackers? Maybe they mistook Flu uh, for me. I'm not sure. Did you see your attackers? Um, yeah, they were... Uh, I think they looked like... Uh, Groups from a cult or guild or something. Intriguing. What did their clothes look like? Did they have any symbols on them? What made you think that they were from a guild or a cult? Were they all wearing the same outfit? They were all wearing the same uh, outfit. And oh, oh my god. god. It's. They, they look like, like those corpses, corpses over there. there. And it points at. The ones along the wall. points at the sands. Oh. Well, don't think you need to worry about them anymore. Uh, Brother, I don't be a fool. If there's one, there's thousands. Mm -hmm. There has to be more than what's dead in this room. That's true. Can I search the corpses for any, like, notes or mm -hmm. um, things that would suggest what, who they are or mm -hmm. identifications? This is how a reader never ever looks like. Uh. Okay. Um. What did you want to ask him? Uh, was there any identifiable features about them? Anything that would mm, no, kind of give us an idea of where they're from? I, I, I really don't even know why they kidnapped me. But uh, I will tell you this. Uh, I think it will uh, help, maybe help, uh, help you. Uh, the Centaurian thinks that uh, my father embezzled a large amount of gold while he was open lord, and, he, and that he hid the dragons, uh, dragons somewhere in the city. They think that they can find it by using an artifact called the Stone of Galore. Which was in the hands of the Sandal Guild until recently. Apparently, someone has stolen it. Uh, the Sense saw, uh, thought that I knew something about all this, but I don't. My father and I haven't spoken in years. Why haven't you spoken to him? Well, we um, kind of disagree on how to. Interact with the uh, people of Wolfly. He he has his ways and I have mine. And he, I like to do it openly and he likes to do it secretly. I don't like his method very much. I like to interact with the uh, with the people of uh, this beautiful town. Would you allow my brother to search you real quick? Well, of course, my lady. 
Jerlin? Uh, I'm gonna go and search him. Can check, can I make like an investigation check to see if I can find anything? Yeah, you can roll an investigation and then go and investigate. Or you can just, uh, you, you don't have to roll anything, you just search him. He cooperates, he puts his arm on the top and. <laughs> He, he, he puts, puts he puts, puts his arm, arms arms up and he cooperates freely. Okay. Did I okay? Do I find anything? Uh no. He, he just, just has his clothes on. on. Uh, he would like to. Uh, uh, he tells you that he would like to offer his assistance in helping uh, you find Flood. Uh, he's his friends. Flood is his friend too. So uh, I just want to get my weapons and I would like to assist you with this matter okay what did the rest of you think gail i'm gonna go. i'm gonna look up at gail and be like it's your friend we're looking for it what does do you want to sound do? like a lead well it isn't my friend it's the wizard's friend well it's not it's my friend <laughs> it's that, it's no, the we were paid friend. to do it Oh, okay. see, I'm gold. catching up on all that. <laughs> Remember the wizard that we were supposed to be tracking down to ask questions? This is his friend. Okay. Well. Okay, well, uh, can I search the bodies the uh, that are along the wall to see if I can find anything that will tell us where to go next kind of thing? General loot check. Yes. Yeah, you can. Uh, you guys can loot corpses and loot kangaroos if you want. And if you find like uh, the daggers and the rapiers, you find uh, some uh, cloth that's been uh, chewed upon, and uh, they are kind of raggy. Uh, they they're not very useful. You yeah. Uh, you also find uh, radar uh, weapons as well. Uh, you know, I hand that back to him, to Reynard. Mm. Reynard. Ah, okay. thank you. Mm. Now I feel I can be of some use. Have we decided what we're doing with the bird? I'm just sitting down with my flask and drinking with them. Mm. And when, when that happens, uh, Gail, you are rushed by and uh, surrounded by uh, a group of soldiers and so are the rest of you halt who goes there what are you doing here they're this searching for Someone. This man just comes in and uh, just approach uh, you uh, people up here. While well, Gail, you are being surrounded by half a dozen guards. Uh, guards. That's fine. I'm still sitting down drinking. We're just a group of travelers. We're just looking for our friend. We're not trying to cause problems. Um, are we in your way? I'm sorry. Uh, we have heard disturbances coming from this place. We are here to investigate. Well, we were attacked by these bird-like creatures, um, but I think the threat is gone. There's just the one left. Uh, mm -hmm. But thank you so much for coming and checking on us. Oh, you have one bird, right? Okay. Uh, yes, he's this way. Hmm. My, My men, men will take, take him from here. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we have some questions. I give the Kenku one last drink. Kenku. Just spits on you. And, and tries to stay, he used, tries to use his, uh, uh, mm, 
neighboring beak. Beak, beak, beak and just try to attack you with it. Flick him. Mm. Knock it off. Well, my, my name's Stag, Captain. I used to stagger, and I run. I am in charge of the top ward area. So why why are you here? Why why have you come to this place? What's your deal here? Like I said a minute ago, we're just looking for a friend of ours. Uh, maybe you've seen her, and I don't remember her name. What was her name? Him. It's a him. Him. What was his name? Floon. <laughs> We're looking for our friend Floon. Do you know of such a man? Never heard of him before. If you are looking for someone, you have to report a missing person. Well, we wanted to make sure he was missing without the report. Oh yeah, he, he may not be missing. He could just be drunk at a bar somewhere in a back alley. We'll keep looking for a little bit, but we'll be sure to file a report if we don't find him soon. Hmm. Well. Well, well. Okay, it seems that you have had no part in this place, in this, when it comes to this uh, warehouse. We have, we have been uh, receiving reports about strange activities coming from this warehouse, and we have had this under surveillance, and... When uh, one of my guards heard this uh, disturbance, he we rushed here as fast as we could. Yes, I, I'm sorry. We couldn't help you with that. Um, maybe it has something to do with the corpses that are um, over there that are rotting. Um, I have no idea. I just, I just do what I'm told. Don't we all? Mm. Well, I think we should get it going, right, guys? Yeah, uh, we should. Yes. Verily. Let's go. Well, you're free to go uh, for now, but um, if you find anything, uh, let us know. It's our job to protect the people. Great. And uh, where can we find you if we need that information? Oh, we will. We are moving around all the city, but you will, we have outposts and uh, car posts. All right, we'll be sure to stop by one of those posts if we need you. Uh, let's head out, guys. What's, what's the guy's name again? Captain what now? Captain, Captain Heels to Staggett. Are we taking Reyna with us, or are we leaving him here with the guards? Reyna wants to go with him, and, uh, and Reyna says to Heels to Staggett, Thank you for the good work, Justice. Um, I will sure to let your superiors know that you're doing a great job protecting people. And he also just... Oh, I still never remember. Um, I didn't know you were here. Well, uh, I was... I was a... Uh, uh, temporary resident of this place. Until now. Until this brave... Heroes kind of came and rescued me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I couldn't. I'm so sorry, Mr. Neverman. I couldn't protect you. But it's not your job. Well, thank you. You can go on with your work, Mr. Staggett. And uh, Raynor leaves with you. Alright, cool. Where are we heading? Yeah, you got information from the Kenku about some uh, sewers. Yep. Alright. Um. And uh, let's see. You, you have you have the following words. Sanitar sends his regards. It also said, tie up the pretty boy in the back room. Follow the yellow signs in the sewers. And also, no time to loot the place, just get into the boss. 
And okay. the sewers uh, kind of Do I get their see mark. A sewer access nearby. Like, do we see? I don't know. What is the water deep equivalent of a manhole color? Um, it's like a normal New York sewer. Right yeah. You can find. Can All right. Cool. Let's um. Let's go looking for a sewer entrance then. I guess. Okay. I will move you out of this map and up to up to the water deep. Are we sure we want? I'm kind of spent. I'm also out of spells. So, so we're down here. It's uh, nearing the end of the day. It's like uh, the sun is uh, about to go down. Should we find a place to rest? Make camp for the night. Uh, I think we can go back to the. Yawning. Uh, I've spaced on the name. The yawning yawning portal. portal. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have... like for some reason like cavernous void was swirling around my head and like that's that's clearly not. I have marked it on. Uh, yes, back side. to the yawning portal. Yeah. Okay, and maybe let's... we can run back into. Uh, Natalie. I hope. Who's Natalie? Uh, she was with us when we, uh, she seems to have gotten lost. Oh, okay. It is a big city. Well, yeah, I just lost my brother less than an hour ago. Wow. To be Athena fair, talking. Um... Natalie is the person that has a migraine, so she's not here today, and that's why we're saying she's lost, yeah? Yep, correct. Okay, cool. Just just trying to, like, be up to date with everything. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you head back to the Yawning Portal. And you are here. Don't yeah, forget, see. do we have rooms for us? You can easily, you can easily buy, yeah, get a room here. How much are the rooms? Oh my god, that's so cool! How'd you do that? Greetings. We're a bit busy here today. Uh, are you ready to order? What will it be? We Internet magic. Roasted mutton served with sweet onion soup. Chicken and potatoes served with a vegetable stew. Chicken and potatoes. The fare is hardtack and raisins. For ales, we have a seasonal blonde ale, a bit ditzy, and a bitter dwarf. I mean, dwarf bitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, aside for a moment and give you time to make a decision. Okay. So, so we we'll have a little bit of menu. Hmm. I'm gonna take a seat. Is the and I'm gonna wait for. And Darnum just walks to me. Oh, welcome back, Brave Ranger. Huh? I see you want to get back into the uh, from the cold. It's very cold outside, so it's good you come back in in the warmth. Hmm. Would you like something to drink, Diella? Diella. Wait, where's the guy that was following us? Ah, uh, he's coming. He's uh. in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like get something to drink, Diella? Yeah, yeah, I'll have an ale. He has offered to help you, but you haven't actually accepted his offer. Oh. He's following us right now. Did you accept his offer? To help you? I 
think so, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, uh, so one of the things take a vote. said <laughs> was Xanathar wants him. Xanathar sends his regards. Xanathar sends his regards. All right. What do I know about Xanathar? Given that I've lived in this city for my life. You know that Xanathar is the leader of a... Um, of a gang. He is also a... Uh, a very nasty creature. He's a, he's a beholder. Oh, good. You heard like rumors all over the town with people talking about the uh, war between uh, uh, Centaurin and uh, Centaur. Oh, wait. Centaur. Do I know who the Centaurim are? Does Percival know who the Centaurim are? Mm, you, rolled, uh, you know that they are a man of thugs or. Uh, uh, they like to deceive people. They're not very friendly. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're putting ourselves in the middle of a a turf war between fantasy crypts and fantasy bloods. Awesome. Yeah. That's probably... <laughs> the... That's going to go well. Hmm, yeah. Super duper well. Uh, can I go to the bar and get two ales? Yeah, yeah Darnum has, uh, stands there and are uh, ready to take your order. Uh, can I get two ales and, uh, is the, uh, uh, Dwarven Bitters, is that vegetarian? Does it have meat in it? Mm, yeah, probably, I don't know. I don't think it's uh, meat in bear, but, uh, beer, but uh, I think if you're ready to carry it, I think we can come up with a good mix of a good beer for you. Okay. Oh, beer is technically yeah. vegan. Yeah. I have what, two what, beer, what, what beers did you want? Uh, let's try the Dwarven Bitter. Dwarven Bitter. Uh, good, good choice. choice. Good choice, choice material. Hey, how many do you want? One, two, two, three, four, two, two. No, you know what? Let's get one for the whole table. Four, one for five, five. Five. Oh, and a candle for my companion. And it says, oh, that will be five gold, sir. Okay, get one five gold. That's an expensive beer. Oh, yeah, yeah. we are very expensive here, but uh, it's... everything here is top quality. <laughs> yes, I'll take the beers back to the table and hand I'll hand Gail one before I leave. Since this is like a social outing, um I do a glance of the room. Do I see any um like long dark haired women? Uh you see a few. There's not many people here at this Hello? hour. <laughs> uh, you you see a few, but there's not many the people who are around here right now, but they will probably show up later, uh, later at the evening, to come in and warm and enjoy the festivity, uh, fe festivities in this nice, nice place. Okay. Uh, is there any candles on any, any of the tables? Ah, uh, yes, there are candles in most of the tables. Uh, about. Um, yeah, about nine or ten tables have candles on them. Uh, you can also see oil lamps hanging from uh, the pillars. Uh, these pillars here, here, here. To light up the place. I, I take one of the candles and I start feeding it to whip a fourth. I hand everyone up here. When Darren sees that, uh, excuse me, uh, those candles are not for eating. Well, not for you, but for my friend. Yes, I will pay for it. 
if your friend needs candles, I can uh, fix you uh, some candles for him to eat. But don't use the ones here that I just lit up the place with. And he goes. And I shall purchase just one of your finest candles, please, mm. good sir. Yeah. He goes into the back, uh, back room. So, uh, Ash, how long has that creature been following you for, and what is its purpose? Is it just like a, like a pet dog, or...? Ma, it's just point of fact. Persevain. Ash is my actual name. Persevain is my character's name. Oh, God shit, sorry. You, can you put it in Discord? <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure. Um, I, I have Discord. That's so right. Don't worry about my it. Discord's on my second monitor. So whenever I'm talking to you guys, I look at your actual name as if I'm mm. talking to you in person. Uh -huh. So like I'm looking at your face. No, no, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so after a minute, the uh, Dernum comes back and he, he gives you. He has about five, six candles. And no, they are not lit. Uh, so yeah. So um, to answer your question, uh, Post uh, Postman says. Whippleforth is my boon companion. I met him here in the city, and we formed a friendship. And together we have decided to go and go in search of good deeds. Uh, and to which Whippleforth says, oh, "Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we we met down down in the market. Yes, and um, uh, he seemed like such an interesting fellow, and uh, he helped me out a great deal. And so uh, I decided to um to um." To uh, to uh, to to travel with him. Yes, indeed. Wait, it talks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He just straight up talks to you. Okay. Uh, right. Can I make an insight check to see if that? Can if that's I? Actually uh, oh, man, no, sure you, are, you mean? Gail, Gail, you are very shocked because you've been with him the most, uh, and you're like. I'm pretty drunk. Yeah, you. Oh, it talks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna get on the edge of my seat here and be like, uh. Can I can I maybe maybe pet you? Is is that okay? Oh 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 um um yes yes I I think that would be okay um yes yes I think so, and he like comes and sits on the table. He's about the size of, uh, he's kind of about the size of a cat, with wings. Oh okay okay so he's smaller than I was picturing. All right. Oh yeah, great. like he normally like travels around sitting on Persevane's shoulder. Okay. You you can sit in my lap if you want, and and I'll I'll, I'll give you lots of belly rubs. And uh, he, well, his belly. And like when you start patting him, his belly starts glowing just a little bit brighter. <laughs> All right, so this is just what I'm doing for the next few hours. <laughs> okay, mm. uh, um, I'm chugging my beer because I'm confused. You're confused about what? Just that creature. <laughs> Just Derlin, slow down. You're gonna make me have a stomach ache. What? Uh, fine. <laughs> Take one last swing and then put it down. Derlin, I'm asking you from the outside uh, counter. Well, it's uh, anything else I can help you with? I need a room. Oh. Oh, if you want to rest up, there's a couple of empty rooms upside, upstairs. How much are the rooms? Uh, when it's, uh, since it's winter outside, I have a high... Uh, my prices have uh, gone up a little bit. Because uh, the extra heat that it requires. Uh, so it's one gold, 50 silver. Uh, one gold... 25 cents <laughs> per night. Okay. I'll get one room for me and Diala. Diala. Aww, that's so cute. <laughs> well, if you want to share, uh, share rooms, it's, yeah, if you want a double room, it's uh, two gold. Two gold? Yeah. Uh, we'll just I'll, share. I'll do a gold and he'll do a gold. Mm. Oh. What about the rest of you? Do you need a gold? Any any room or? Yeah. I'm gonna start walking I'm, to the room I'm and I'm gonna take... kind of pick up the cat while I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna take the same the same room. He's like he's he'll just like climb up and like sit on your shoulder. He's a curious guy. 
Okay. Is is can he just come with me? Because I'll just cuddle him. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. He's he and I like he sort of like looks over at me, and I'd like just give him a nod, and he'll just like hang out with you. Where's the cool. rooms? He's pretty chill. Uh, the rooms are uh, the stairs are up here, but uh, there's no map for it, so. Alright, I'll just go over here yeah. then. So, uh, the rest of you take, uh, so you, all of you get the uh, beneficial, uh, of a long rest. Alright, so it's two gold then? Uh, if you want to share rooms, yes. Nope. nope. Uh, Gail does not want to share a room. So, I just I'm assuming I still have my room from the other night. Yeah, you have, your, you have your room. Yeah, yes. So it's is it what it's like one gold a day type thing? Yeah. Yes. Uh, he's he's a little bit overpriced right now because of the winter is coming. Uh, it's very cold outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So one one gold per one, night one for gold, a room. One gold per night. Okay. Cool. And that includes uh, breakfast. Happy days. Alright, so I'm just going to cuddle with the cat in bed and talk to him for hours because I I miss my animals and I love nature. <laughs> he will listen. Work. Okay, so I guess I'll follow her. Hmm. Yeah, you're with me. Yeah. So, so when you rest up, you get your spell slots back and your HP back and everything. All right. So, what do you think we're gonna be doing? So I can pick spells accordingly. Who are you talking to? Uh, Just in general. Uh, I think yeah, we're going okay. down into the sewer tomorrow. All right. So I guess I can keep Bane, because you never know. I forget. Do druids also change spells, or do they keep spells you have? They have. Druids, they uh, druids also can change spells. spells. Okay. Let me see. I think I'll get rid of command. Command actually would have been really useful in that fight. Well, it was either that or heal. Well, I think you made the right choice. I'll keep healing word. I have healing word, cure wounds, blessed. We're keeping bane. I'll get the tech magic. <sighs> I don't have to worry about spells this campaign. I just <laughs> have to hit shit. <laughs> right. And I can help you with that. I can also I, help with that. I wasn't a part of the fight, so I'm not really preparing. I just laid down with the cat or dragon thing and then cuddling. And <laughs> you're you're, you're, laid, you're, laid, you're laying down with the cat dragon, okay? I'm getting up from the corner of the room where I slept. Huh. You, you come down and you can see... Uh, when you get up and come down, you can see this, encounter, this counter here is full with uh, breakfast buffet. I'm going into a sewer, correct? Yep. We're going into a sewer. No, there's no point in taking a shower. I'm gonna get up with the kitty and head towards breakfast. I'm hungry now. Good morning. How did you sleep last night? I'm gonna get sanctuary. Uh. I slept. I slept felicitously. And I shall make my way to the bar in search of coffee and also a straw because the helmet is still on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eat, drinking coffee for a straw, that has to be painful. 
Well, I was also drinking ale through a straw, so, you know. Basically, I walk around with the straw. Yeah, well... The helmet uh, does not come off. Yeah, I think uh, ale is a lot easier to drink through a straw than uh, uh, steaming hot coffee. It might be a nice <laughs> coffee. Who knows? I, I don't know. Fantasy. It might, like, if you've got, like, a metal straw, maybe it radiates some of the heat so it's the perfect temperature. Oh, like drinking be. out of a disposable, like, drinking out of a coffee cup. Well, it, it could, could be, be ice coffee, too. Yeah. Also true. It is summer. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's winter. It's Damn. winter. <laughs> so drinking hot beverage before you go out in the cold, uh, that's... Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And you're probably gonna like let rock your armor, it, or if it's not already, you like uh, cover it in the skin or something. Like hide. Oh, yeah, like uh, hide outside. Cabin, cloak. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, armor is actually quite warm to wear if you're wearing like the quilting that you need underneath it. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it, if you're in uh. If you're in freezing conditions, like it's icy and your armor ices up, that sucks. But you actually, like, you're actually exerting yourself, so you actually sweat quite a lot. I was actually pretty surprised that the Under Armour, what it looks like, that was just like a giant leather shirt chain. So uh, the... it depends. It depends on on when you're talking about. So um, the Gambesons, like, you can either have quilted leather, quilted um, fabric of various types. Um, so Gambeson is like, it's like the thickest winter coat you've ever had. So in summer, it really sucks. Well, I've never I think had that... a summer coat because it's our winter coat because I live in California where it's uh -huh. always. Yeah. For... I, I'm from Australia. Dude. I'm well aware. Oh yeah, it sucks. Well, you know, for a given value of sucks. I've, I also have lived in Spain for the last three years, so I can tell you I would much rather hot winters than cold, like hot wet winters than freaking snowy cold winters when I have to walk to work through them. And uh, then, you know, Hell lives in Sweden, so he's got it over all of us. I um, yeah. live in the cold part of New Hampshire, or cold part of the U.S., so there's snow here, a lot of snow. Not all the time, but... I well, it was, it's summer here where I live, so it's very hot outside. It's summer here, too. Same here. Because you're above the equator. That's how it works. <laughs> Alright, shall we head out? No, uh, before we do, I look at Durham. Can you fill my flask? You want me to fill your flask? Uh, I don't know if you can, Durlin. The name of the bartender is Durnum? Durnum. Yeah, Durnum, Durnum and... Durnum, uh, oh. Durnum and Durlin. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna... Durlin. Pay. Uh, maybe Durlin and Durnum. <laughs> Hello, Durlin. You know what? Um, Are you forget. always drinking? Usually. <laughs> Lovely. I believe you did that in Strongest Father too. Nope. Oh yeah, you, 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 you just stole stuff there. No, I just blew stuff up. Rylan <laughs> kept getting the wild surge where he just never got drunk. So that was oh fun. yeah, okay, you never got drunk then. Cool. But, but you, you blow up shit and then you stole shit. Ah. Uh, I never stole anything. I just took it. Because the owners were dead. Not every owner was, <laughs> were dead. Anyway, back to this campaign, not the previous one. Um, you go outside, you, go outside, uh, you leave uh, a young portal, your bellies are full with food, coffee, beer, everything you need to eat. It's a buffet. It's on the house. Because you're like, eh, not on the house, but on the rooms you paid. And Darnan just wait, uh, Darnan and Bonnie, they just wave you off and hope to see you soon again. Good luck with your adventure, adventure thingy. Uh, 
And I'm moving it here. And, and when you get outside, outside uh, you have a portal, you, you don't have to move, go very far. And when you move like uh, maybe 30, 40 yards or so, you meet up with Captain Stag again. And he's like, oh, you again. Staring up trouble? Always. You yeah, better not meddle in criminal of, uh, criminal matters. matters. Leave, Leave this dirty, dirty business to the city watch. watch. <laughs> you know, not, not all city watch officers are as nice as me. True. Well, we appreciate your kindness. Mm. On an entirely separate matter, do you know where any manhole covers are? Manhole covers? What the heck do you mean about that? Well, we were just curious. It would be absolutely fabulous if you could tell us where it was. And then I'm going to blink my eyes and do a little flirty face. <laughs> Ew, lady, what's your language? <laughs> I'm gonna step behind Darlin now. I'm look embarrassed. <laughs> Remember, you're talking to an officer of the City Watch. Excuse oh. my sister, she doesn't quite understand. It's not okay to always. Yeah. You, you seem to I be. I take my elbow. Yeah, you, and I jab you. You, see, you seem to be <laughs> oh. needing something. You seem to be looking for me since you're asking me about the manhole. Uh, we lost the pet. Can we turn the back the people talking noise off? Oh yeah, sorry. There. Thank you. Keep keep forgetting about that. Uh, where are we? We're just looking at the world map right now, right? Yes, yes you are. are. Okay. At the city, city map. map. So, so you guys... guys... Actually, since I've been wandering the streets most of the time that I've been in the city, would I know where a manhole cover is? Or an entrance <laughs> to the sewer? Uh, oh, you mean the uh, sewer entrance? Oh, well, you, you have one uh, just down the street. Yeah, I want to uh, point down uh, towards uh, the Nimbra Street. Thank you for your time. I think we should be going. Yes, we should. I grab Diela's arm and pull her away. And by the way, now when you guys, well, you don't see that Never Ember, Rainer Never Ember is there with you. He kind of left uh, after you guys went to bed. He's, it oh, seems I left that he... a note at the, the yawning portal for Natalie. I tell her where we're going. Yeah, okay. That way she can catch up. Okay. Okay, so we're following the person who's been circling the city. Yeah, so you find an entrance about uh, here at the corner of the street. You find okay, that. Uh, right, we're you, supposed you, to follow the yellow signs. You find, like, uh, it's the latest uh, light up screen by all the dark, but when you brush it off, you see a, a yellow sign, a, a yellow mark on it. Just a little, uh, like a paint, paint mark. What does it look like? Uh, just a painted mark, just like a small circle or something like that. 
Paint it with a brush. Okay. Um, what color? I will. Yellow. I will try to lift it off. I guess. Hey. <laughs> I'm not going first this time. Uh, I will first. go first. I will go first on account of the shield. <laughs> uh, do I need to make a? Do I need to make a check to um to no. lift this thing? No, no, right. you just lift it up. Uh, when cool. you lift it up, you you sense you, uh, a wind of just a nice uh, sewer sewer smell just pops up in your face. Mmm, <sighs> delicious. Ah, uh, yeah, very delicious. You, you see, see a putrid stream flows along this sewer tunnel. Uh, when, when you get down, down which leads in two directions. directions. In, in one direction, you see a tiny symbol drawn in the wall in yellow chalk. A palm side circle with ten uh, equidistant uh, spoke radiating out from its circum uh, circumference. How is it down there? Vile. Can <laughs> yeah. you see down uh, there? Great. I, I, I cannot. Might you cast a light upon my shield again? I need to touch that shield for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to go down. I climb, I climb down and I touch the shield. Okay. You guys are down in the sewers. I look at Diela and say, ladies first. Oh, brother. And I walk down. Mm. Gag a little bit. Yeah, you see, see like uh, pro people, people that are uh, very cold that uh, wonder why why are they going into sewers? Yuck! I throw death glare at that whoever was looking. Uh, they are very, <laughs> there are several people. It's like a big street uh, in the, the dark world. It's uh, you, you can manage to drive at least two carts. Alongside each other. Alright, can I uh, close the lid? If there was yeah. A... yeah, you can close the lid after. Close it. Close it. So. Uh, Whipperforth is going to take up his spot on my shoulder, and he's just going to let out uh, a little jet of flame, the dragon equivalent of lighting a match. Okay. After an hour of following signs through the tunnels, you come to a three way intersection where a ladder leads up. Into a stone shaft capped by a circular metal tower. One of the uh, familiar chalk symbols is marked on a wall nearby. And floating near the symbol is a spher spherical grapefruit sized creature with a golden central eye and four stumpy eye stalks. It bears its teeth at you. Do I know what that is? Well, you are about to find out. I was going to say, does, or should I say, does Percival know what that is? Percival. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Black screen. See, this is why we need um, Natalie, because she's got Volo's goddamn book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, she has. Like, as a player or as a character? As, as a character. character. She oh. took the book off him. She bought the, the actual book from him for uh, a lot of money. You, you can, can uh, put, put yourself in any order. I'd imagine me can't. and Pers Persevan. I can't say anything, it's all black for me. Uh, also, when the hour was getting closer, I would cast the shield or light again because it only lasts. I'll cast Produce Flame as well, so we have a f light source as well. For some reason I can access your cogwheel. Take out my flask. Does anybody see any yellow signs anywhere? I think they're like all over the we even following. Oh, okay. Roll 20 is bugging me right now. I have to uh, 
reload the page. It's messing with me. I can't uh, alter your HP or anything. Uh, passive as a lost audio apart, supposedly. Ash. Yeah. Which one? What? what you Ash about? lost audio. He said he'd be right back. He had to uh, re-log in. Test, test, oh, test, yeah, test, yeah. test. Oh, yeah, there. Okay, see you. Can you hear us, Ash? Yeah, I can hear you fine. All right. Here we go. Perfect. We can hear you too. If my roll 20 would like to load, this would be awesome. Taking its sweet time. There we go. Now I can change. Good. Uh, how many of you can see the map? I can see it. Uh, I cannot. Nope, can't see it. Well, it's too dark for you. He has a light on his shield. Oh yeah, I'm fixing that, but it's really slow for me right now. Holy shit, it's slow. It's real dark here, guys. Oh, I can see something now. No, I still can't. I take it easy. It's too slow. Uh, roll point is messing with me. No worries, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, now you, all you can all of you can see. Okay, you were. Uh, let's see. Let's... Yeah, you were uh, confronted by a grapefruit sized creature. With the ball in central eye and four stumpy eye stock, you guys can see that you. So, what do you guys do? Well, there's only one way to go. You you see. It's gonna move on. You see. You see this, by the way. Oh, ew! Where is that? It's floating uh, in front of you. It's probably outside your range. But that's I what. Go. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't be a daylight. You just cut out, what'd you say? I said you shouldn't be. Yes, he you, stay you, back. you shouldn't be. Oh, okay, yeah, involved. sorry. He, he kept. He kept cutting out. All right, I'll move back yeah. a little bit. Thank you for the warning. You see this thing just hovering? Just... I'll follow your lead, Gil. Uh, all right, then go right here. I'm 
I'm gonna get up front of this. <laughs> Gazer. Uh, so, um, I'm just trying to think. So, can I make a some sort of like a history check to see if I've seen one of these before? Actually, it'd be better if Whipperforth did it, because he's way more likely to have encountered one of these in his readings. If he's read a lot of books, sure. Well, yeah, it's kind of the, kind of his jam. Oh, yeah. Nope. Never heard of it. Well, if it's not being I would actually give you advantage on it because he is looking for books. He is reading a lot of books. So, yes, he has seen one of these in books, but never in his real life. Cool. That sounds about right. And they are very, they are rare, and they don't come up about this idea. Like places. Dark. Okay, so this is not, like, this is an odd creature to see on the surface, but would not be odd to see in a sewer? Mm, yeah, probably not. Like, oh, or in the door in dark, dark yes, moist mm, caves, or, or in caves. What else does he know about them? They have, yeah, nasty, they they have nasty, nasty eyes. eyes. They are very nasty. Yeah, okay, um... Are they normally solitary? Do they normally like hang out with other ones? You don't know that. Yeah, you actually don't know that information. Would he know okay. if they're aggressive? Uh, they are very aggressive because this uh, gazer is moving towards you. As he's very aggressive. Oh, okay. He's moving towards us. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my shield up and uh, and prepare myself. But I'm not going to make any hostile actions just yet. Yeah, yeah, but everyone, roll initiative. Spread out. Oh! Alright, <laughs> oh, here rolled a 19. Oh, sorry, I forgot to click my thing. I rolled a 20, but let me... You want me to re-roll? Yeah, re-roll it then... Uh... We use that. Okay, there we go. I always forget to click my character. <laughs> That's right, I'll do that the same. Dirt in less boy. Less <laughs> boy. Uh, Nibbly. 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 Thank mm -hmm. you. It's French. Yeah. Nibbly. Dirt in the boy. What do you do? Okay. Um, seeing that it's kind of pushing towards us. Um, if it, can I hold my action so that if it attacks one of us, um, can I use Produce Flame on it? Uh, if it moves close to you, uh, what kind of range do you... If it, if it attacks. If it attacks. And it's 30, I have 30 feet. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. You can do that. It's his turn now, so... I'm gonna move a little bit this way. <laughs> okay. Well, uh... First Wayne, he has his eyes look, uh, set on you. He's only got eyes for me. Aww. <laughs> so he's gonna use, uh... Eye rays. Uh... Oh, that's probably not good. Oof. So he's gonna cast a frost ray on you. Ooh. Uh, Chill out. Yeah, so roll, uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got a thing for this. i got a thing for this. <laughs> so, uh, if you are subjected to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw to take only half damage, you can use your reaction to take no damage if you succeed on the saving throw, interposing the shield between yourself and the effect. Okay. Uh, I also it get to say add you my take shield half damage, AC it? to any dexterity saving roll that I make. Oh, okay. By the way, it doesn't say you take any... Shield mastery. Well, you, it doesn't it's say you, take any, you don't take any half damage if you succeed. 
It misses. What? Sorry, just take. Yeah, you don't oh, take cool, any. Great. You don't take any damage if you succeed. All right. Well, I get. To, I still get to add. So it's my dexterity saving throw plus two for my a for my shield. So six. I'm guessing <laughs> it hits. Yeah, it hits. After uh, you do the damage, can I roll for, uh, for produce flame? Yes, roll for produce flame. I assume that hits. Yeah, that hits. You've been rolling really well. I know, I produce flame. How much? With. How much damage do I take off that frost ray? Uh, hold on. Uh. I'm gonna guess a lot. So I think it's a D6. Oh, no, never mind. Three nine, D6. Nine. It's not that nine. 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 That, that was his first ray. Oh. How many of these does he get to make? Uh, if you say two. they choose two rays. Oh. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll another ray. You don't always know who's going because they don't have to go on the same target. Uh, oh. he's he's say uh, he, he has his eyes set on you, so yes. Uh, then it's gonna hit me again. Yes. Awesome. Right, another uh, deck saving with a, throw with, with a fear uh, ray. So you want, I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh okay. Oh, I am wise. You are not frightened by him. I thought you were a fighter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm not frightened by him. I fear you not. Okay. Squidgy eye thing. Say hello, Le Bois. <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> what are you gonna um, do? Um, I'm gonna cast Poison Spray. And uh, you're, with, you're not in rage. Oh, can it's I? Okay. It's, it's 10 feet. Uh, what's ten? With what is ten feet? On fire. Use firebolt. Poison. Uh, every uh, square is five feet. Also, you okay. kill with the fourth. Oh yeah, that's. Well, he's on your shoulder, isn't he? He's literally on your shoulder, so yeah. yeah. See. He's not in front of me. He's yeah. on your shoulder. <laughs> um, I'll do firebolt. So click it. I clicked it. And then, does 11 hit? No. That's not. Anything else you want to do? Oh, me? Uh, hi. Um... Uh, nope, that's it. That's... I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay, take a step over here to my brother. With my action. Okay. It. Movement. With your movement, yes. Uh, so, first of all, you took some nasty damage, or did you yeah. want to succeed on the. Uh, uh, no, you, you failed that save, so. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Alright. Now, uh, I can't do anything, so I'm going to take the dodge action. Well, you can actually, you can technically walk in uh, down into water, it's. You can, you, you can walk in the water. It's not that deep. Oh, is it? Is it not? It's like three okay. feet deep. So in that case, I will walk out. Three yeah. feet deep is pretty deep. Man. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. Like, that's like, on me. That's about hip deep. Yeah. Still, so it's, still you can walk the. You you lose you lose uh, like uh, ten movement speed. That's oh, good. Right. Figure, uh, I'm going to walk out 20, there. I'm 20, gonna... you, you, move, you lose like uh, 10 feet by 5 squares. So I'm going to walk out there and I'm going to hit him. Okay. Go okay. ahead. No one's going to attack. God damn it. Too many windows. Oh. Oh, for it some reason I logged out of the game. 
Does your dragon thingy like water? Because I can hold it while you're going out there. Ah, uh, he can fly. Oh, okay, cool. He's good. Uh, I keep associating right. it to a cat, so I'm like, they don't like water. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not cat. He's he's cat like only in size. Uh, and and uh, the same amenableness that a cat will have in the sense that sometimes it wants to hang out with you, and sometimes it says "fuck off, don't touch me." Sounds good. <laughs> uh, all right, so Porcifying is going to go up and going to. Swing on this guy. Long sword, one handed. I'm gonna yeah. guess nine and uh, nineteen hits. Yes, it does. All right, and I'm gonna you kill him. shove him. You kill oh, he's him. dead. I cleave him. Yeah, you, say, you, you, you shove off all his eye. His eyes that's hanging above him, and he just falls and I into, say, the, the, uh, into the water and just floats away. Yep, and I say, Dost thou not know? Tis rude to stare. <laughs> I take a drink from my flask. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, what else do you do now? Do you keep on going? I, I, limp, I limp back to the path. Yep. I'm like 4 of 13. Yeah, you did some heavy damage. Shall we continue along the path that we're at, or do you think we should cross the bank and go to the other side? Um, we should stay on this path. And... Or is there another side to this I can't see? Can I get uh, a healing word? That'd be great. Uh, how many spell slots do you have? Oh, healing word is you a cantrip. Ten hit points. You get 10 hit points. Cool. Uh, oh, if healing word was a cantrip, that'd be insane. Okay. Spell. Mm. But, yeah, you got one spell. But there you go. You get 10 hit points. Cool, I'm back up to full. So I'm gonna start. I'm Just gonna get in the water and start kind of heading over. Haven't you used to add in your money? That's one plus three plus three. Does it? Yes. Oh yeah, then just seven. Yeah, seven. You guys can walk over. Uh, just. That's okay. I'm still up to four. Alright. Okay, so you guys walk over the water. Yeah. Okay. So you keep on going deeper and deeper into this world. You do have a ladder also. Uh, if I, you remember me saying that. You do find the ladder. Where does the yellow marking point? Uh, the yellow marking board is on the wall, uh, next to, uh, uh, next to the ladder, and you also see one. Okay, so I guess we're going up the ladder. Yeah, Ladies yeah, yeah, yeah you have a ladder. The ladder is over here, and you also have a mark over here. Are you sure you want to go first? Last time your brother did that, he was shot. You know how that uh, helps. You, you have, the ladder is over here, and also I'll, I'll the first. mark here. So there's two marks. Just, uh, there are several marks. One way next to the ladder, and, uh, and, uh... That's okay, I'll go first. Alright, sounds good. Because, you know, armor. Alright, up a go. Okay, so you're going uh, up the ladder? Carefully. Okay, when you go up the ladder... As quietly as I can. Uh, Jalen, come you, over here. When you kind of climb up the ladder, you push uh, open the metal cover, you find yourselves in the cellar of, uh, of the spouting fish, a tavern in the dockward. Sounds delightful. 
So it seems uh, this might not be the direction you are going. It seems like right. this is like more than a, more of a uh, path to go down into the sewers. Enough. Okay, I climb on back down then. Let's try this one. <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can, you, you can walk down the, on the, the same side here. Uh, and by that, I will move you to a new map. And this is where we'll end for the day. Okay. Okay. Hi. Cool. Alrighty. Sorry, I missed the first half, guys. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It happens. Yep. Hopefully, you're enjoying your game of D and D. Oh yeah, so far it's fun. Um, Carter and I have been trying to get into a D and D campaign together for a while. Uh, we've never played together because um, whenever we apply to campaigns, it's very rare for somebody to pick two people out of like the hundreds that apply. Uh, so we're excited to be in a group together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I'm glad you, uh, you, you like it more. What? I'm glad you liked it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still new, so I'm going to get some stuff wrong sometimes, and I'll probably die at some point, but... Well, if you die, you just make a new character. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Derlin. You can live without your twin. <laughs> I'll just be one of our younger siblings. <laughs> hey. Those well, sorcerers are hard to kill. I had my sorcerer for like three years. Yeah, he did. He literally did through two. Through, uh, through a few changes over, actually, I think. Yep. Yeah. Through, like, two campaigns. Yeah, two full campaigns. I did, I did knock your unconscious like once, so you, you yeah, nearly died once. Yeah. Yep. Anyway. But it took a lot. Yeah. It took a lot to kill him. Oh, yes. Yeah. What finally yeah. did you in? Uh, I think it was a ship full of bandits uh, and like a really powerful wizard. Yeah, and also oh, some oh, very powerful uh, Marfolk. Yeah. Big, Big nasty ones. ones. They almost killed the dragon too. So. Damn. So, sorcerers can get pretty good. Well, yay! There's hope. <laughs> so and I if do... she dies, I have other characters I can pull in. So I do hope you enjoy your first uh, campaign, your first uh, session here or uh, this campaign. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like I, I, I kind of like the panic when uh, Fever just rush in, screaming and uh, terrifying and everything. And that you could uh, when you, darling, you in, when you introduced your character, that uh, you almost started a fight with Presswain and Gale. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, okay, how do I don't introduce myself. That makes sense. I've been following them. Okay, fighting. So we're gonna go there. Yeah. Well, so I the only reason I rushed in is because like I don't know if I said this when I was introducing, but like Derlin and I can feel each other's pain due to like the twin thing. Yeah. So I felt him get hurt, and that's why I was like freaking out. And so I was like, well. Um, and my friend left early, and I was like, okay, I can get on and be a part of this campaign. Because originally, our original goal with what I talked to Hellbard and uh, Carter about was that I was just following behind you guys. Because um, Derlin didn't want me to like make myself known until like he knew that you guys were safe. But I was able to end early with what I was doing today. And I was like, okay, I can be there. And so I hopped on, and I was like, hey, you just got hurt. This is a good timing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's nice that everything worked out like that. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm going to hop off because we're done and my son needs me, but I will see you guys next week. Yeah, next week, same time, and I will put this video on my YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel too? Mm, 
yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't put any videos onto there. So I, I put my our last session onto that uh, channel, and I'm gonna put all my video stream live stream videos from Twitch to my YouTube channel as well. Ah, uh, yep. What is your okay. YouTube channel name? My YouTube handle. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you can just maybe search for Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, or uh, Johan. Johan Helgreen. Uh, I will write some Discord. Okay. Alrighty. You can search for that or help out. Well, hopefully okay. we get Casey next week. Yes, yeah, hopefully, we, uh, hopefully we get full group, full party, uh, full party next week. Yeah. But, I actually, right, told, uh, I actually told her to uh, take this day off. She, she told she might not uh, show up because of my brain, but I told her just don't show up. Can rest, and we see you next uh, next week instead. Yeah, good, uh, good session. It was uh, some fun, uh, fun moments and uh, some close calls. Again, <laughs> at the same place. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm bouncing out. Bye, guys. All right, bye, everyone. All right, bye. Enjoy your day. Bye, guys. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Later. So everyone, welcome, and uh, I hope you enjoyed our second session of uh, my live stream, live stream campaign. I'm gonna put this on my YouTube channel, uh, so you can watch it on uh, YouTube as well. And uh, if you want to get information about new content, please press the follow button. And also, I do enjoy getting more followers on my live stream as well. So, if you'd like to follow me in my live stream on Sundays, just follow, uh, press the follow button and uh, you will get noticed uh, when I get on next time. Anyway, uh, nice and to have viewers, uh, a couple of viewers this session long. And I hope to see you guys there again next Sunday. Happy gaming, everyone. Bye.